Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today we are going to make some of the Valentine DIYs as sweet as candy. So it's not candy DIYs, but they are as sweet as them. To start, I'm just taking one of this wooden uh, truck sign with a lot of gnomes on it. I'm just giving one coat of this pink chalk paint all over it because I want to see the design and I'm going to draw the design on top of it. And I'm taking the black chalk paint for the truck wheels and also the mirrors and I'm actually drawing the border to highlight the design. So I'm going to carefully draw all over it off the screen and I'm going to show you just in a second. And I'm also going to take this red chalk paint and I'm drawing X, X's in red and O's in white chalk paint. And I'm just also taking my sweet time to decorate the gnomes with their beautiful hats and their decorations on it. And I'm going to show how they all turned out in just a second. This is how they all look. Now I took one of this um, Sharpie and I'm just outlining all the designs. So the designs look bright and neat. They look so cute after they are outlined well and i'm also taking some of this uh, skewers and i'm uh, thin ones and i painted with this pink chalk paint and after they dried i'm just sticking to the back of the truck just like so and i'm taking some of this uh, felt hearts to give like nice balloons effect there and uh, you're going to see that in just a second these are the felt hearts that i got in three different colors and they come in three different colors in three different sizes I stuck the big ones towards the end and the next size attached to those truck and I think I am happy with the uh, decoration there. I could have added a bow but I was happy with the look so I am going to stop it there. And I also wanted to attach one of this picture frame to make it stand on its own. And this is the beautiful Valentine's truck and i just love this pink tone it's as sweet as candy to me so yeah this was one of my cute gnome diys with the uh, uh, valentine balloons and they're having nice trip there and yeah this is one of the cute diy and i'm excited to share with you all i hope you like it please let me know your thoughts This video will be part of Valentine's Hearts as Sweet as Candy and this is hosted by Kate over So Kate and Ro from Crafticular. And I'm going to link the crafting channels of these two creative ladies in my description box as well as link to the huge playlist. As always, please watch all of our videos and give lots of love. Let's move on to DIY number two. For this, I'm going to take same pink chalk paint and i'm also taking one of this wooden heart with a stick on it and i'm going to decorate this as a topiary and i'm just taking like two coats and I, to give like a nice coverage and i'm also painting the stick as you're seeing and this is a cute planter that i got from dollar tree recently and i'm just going to paint the black chalk paint to the base and the top lining and i also gave like little distressed effect here and there and using this beaded garland i just circle it around the stick part of this heart and i'm just taking one of this floral um ribbon and i just stuck around the heart now i got this beautiful flowers they are paper flowers in beautiful colors so i'm going to arrange them in a gradient effect so i just took the uh, pink flowers it's coral pink i think they go on the top and according to the shape of the heart i'm just sticking with generous amount of hot glue just like you're seeing now let's work on this planter i just took a little bit of a styrofoam and i stuck it to the base and i'm going to arrange the top area on the top before that i wanted to attach one of this heart shaped cotton lace around the planter and i just stuck this topiary on top of the styrofoam and a little bit of a spanish moss to top it and also a lot of flowers roses basically on top of this planter isn't this pretty i just love all the different colors of roses the coral pink is so complementing with this candy pink and i just love how this cute uh, roses topiary turned out in a heart shape i hope you like it and i think this is my favorite today yeah please let me know your thoughts too
let's move on to diy number three for this i'm going to take one of this love sign that i used last year I'm just sanding down some of this glue um, residue and i'm just taking one of this wide paintbrush and i'm just taking this pink chalk paint and i'm just painting on the top layer of this uh, love sign and uh, this is how it looks after the white and pink paints have dried i just took one of this tissue paper which has pink roses on it and i'm going to take this uh, one piece of this one layer of it and i'm going to stick it with mod parts you got it and i'm going to generously apply this mod parts on top of this white surface and i'm going to carefully attach this roses on top of it and i'm just fingering so it doesn't tear off and also it sticks well after it's dried i removed excess of this paper now i'm going to take one of this wooden hearts from dollar tree and i just gave like one coat of uh, white chalk paint and uh, i just stuck it into the center where the o part is there and it's also having a cute heart there so i just stuck with generous amount of hot glue and i'm also going to attach one of this cute pink flower on top of it and i also wanted to stick one pearl to give like a shabby chic effect there and this is all i want to do and it's already having a lot of flowers and greenery i do not want to add any more florals and greenery and this is gorgeous as is i think this is also my favorite today i don't know please let me know your thoughts i just love it though let's move on to diy number four for this i'm going to decorate one of this cup from laundry detergent and this has beautiful stripes to it so i thought why can't i convert this into a beautiful shabby chic decor planter so i'm just i just got like one co actually two coats of white chalk paint and after the white chalk paint dried i'm just taking this pink chalk paint and i'm alternating the pink chalk paint to this stripes there and also painted the top part see what i'm saying and also the top part now it looks like a cute uh, shabby chic vintage planter if you can say and i'm just sticking some of this styrofoam uh, to the base and i also wanted to decorate the uh, the outer part with this cute white lace uh, ribbon and i just stuck one of this uh, white flower and also a pearl to on top of it and i just stuck some of this spanish moss with this pink roses and white flowers and a tiny greenery to finish the look oh i also added a layer of uh, pearls to give like a nice vintage shabby chic decor and i just love how this whole cute planter turned out and this is one of the thing that you could have thrown but it's become a cute decor so yeah this is another one i think this is also my favorite today so please let me know your thoughts also let's move on to diy number five for this i'm going to take this beautiful candy pink home sign that i got from dollar tree and i'm going to paint the roof with this white chalk paint i think i gave uh, two coats of this uh, paint to get like nice courage and i just took this heart shaped uh, lace from dollar tree and i wanted to give like a nice uh, um, garland to the top of the house and i just took tiny piece and i'm just sticking to the top just like that and off screen i also painted one of the red heart on the home with red chalk paint to actually go with the colors it was in a dark pink and i gave like little red color to it and i also took one of this baker's twine red and white and i'm just circulating around the home to give like a nice decor to it and i also wanted to give nice uh, heart shaped balloon to the top of the house just took three of this uh, two of the skewers and i'm attaching this felt hearts to the base of it and uh, i'm just sticking to the back of the house 
just like that and this is all i wanted to do here you guys i am so happy how this easy simple candy pink home turned out and i hope you'd like it too and yeah this is another one that i want to share with you all so please let me know your thoughts Let's move to DIY number six, the last one. I'm going to repurpose one of this heart shaped basket, and this is one of the toy from my daughter's toys. And I just wanted to decorate this, so I just took this pink shiny satin ribbon, and I'm just circulating to the top part of the basket, basically around it a couple of times and i'm also taking hot glue in the center uh, to give like nice adherence and this is how it looks with this cute satin ribbon on top then i took a little bit of the styrofoam piece and i stuck to the base and i wanted to give a distressed look i just gave like a little coat of a white chalk paint and i just took a couple of this coral pink roses this i got from michael's last Christmas after Christmas sale and they came for a dollar or so and I just took some of this uh, greenery and some of this uh, pics with the hearts on it and I just um, sticking one cute bow to call it done isn't this pretty this is one of the cute basket with a lot of roses and I just love this cute bow with the heart in the center and the greenery and those tiny hearts and yeah this is another cute decor that i want to share with you all today i hope you'd like it too so again please let me know These are some of my social media handles if you'd like to connect with me over there and we reach to the final part of this video so this is my collection of all the valentine diys as sweet as candy and i wanted to share with you all all these ideas i hope you enjoyed watching and working with me and i hope uh, if you like some of these ideas and you would like to join with the family i'd be more than happy if you click on the subscribe button and join and i wanted to take a minute to thank all of you for watching this video i am blessed to have you over here and uh, like i always say i'm very grateful and thankful here you guys until next time if you'd like to see some of my videos i'm going to tag some in the right corner of the screen and i'm going to let you enjoy the final reveal like i always say thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you again